Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to talk about why I am anti-vegan and not only ex-vegan. I've been getting that question quite a lot lately. Can't you just be an ex-vegan, accept that veganism didn't work for you and move on? Why do you have to bash vegans? Why do you have to talk shit about vegans? That is the question that I get on a daily basis. Guys, first and foremost, it is about health, about human health. I know nowadays in the media you hear a plant-based diet is the healthy way to go. But guys, we already tried that. If you look into what we've been eating, it is a plant-based diet. I know it's quite a shocking fact, people can't understand this, and I didn't believe it myself. But once you start looking into it, you will find out that most people already eat a plant-based diet. We eat processed plants, absolute sugary, carby foods. Be it rice, be it sweet potatoes, be it processed fries, be it the cereal in the morning. All of those foods are our staple foods. We eat 70 to 80% processed plants. We already are on a plant-based diet. Even if you look into the statistic of those blue zones, even the blue zones eat less plants than Americans. Yes, that is the case. We're eating a highly processed plant-based diet. So therefore, how can you claim by adopting a plant-based diet, somehow we will heal the planet? I am anti-vegan for health. Veganism wrecked my health. Veganism wrecked my sister's health. Veganism wrecked my girlfriend's health. Veganism wrecked my friend's health. But hey, who cares, right? Guys, veganism wrecked the health of thousands and thousands of people online. For every little vegan troll comment that I get, I get hundreds of thanks comments on a daily basis of people that are reclaiming their health. This is why I run an anti-vegan channel. I run it because it needs to be heard. Right now we face a huge push. Global warming because of meat. Reduce the meat. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger will tell you. Less meat, less heat. Yeah, of course. How? Please explain it to me. When did cows that are grazing, eating their natural diet outside became such a threat? To global climate change. It is absolutely ridiculous and we know it. But somehow the media still achieved to trick a bunch of millennials that are going out on the street protesting right against climate change, against meat, animal activists, or should I say animal terrorists. This is what we see nowadays. Absolute false news. And who suffers? the humans. Simple as that. The true suffering is created in humans. Every single day I have people reaching out to me and telling me how they deteriorated. To this very day people are still brainwashed. They tell me that they see the improvement with every single ex-vegan on YouTube. You don't have to be a scientist to acknowledge that every single ex-vegan is improving tremendously their health markers increase. Every single one of them. Name one ex-vegan and I show you a person that got healthier. It is that easy. But still you have brainwashed people that cannot make the shift because of their indoctrination. People write me messages. They ask me, how about karma? How about getting reincarnated as an animal? I can't make myself eating animals. The suffering is just too big. But I feel like shit. But I'm depressed. But my teeth are rotting out. But my libido is low. But I'm not going to eat meat. Fantastic. Hashtag vegan logic. This is why I run an anti-vegan channel. Because I hate veganism. Yes, I do. I do not regret anything in my life. Everything is a learning lesson. But that learning lesson led me to this point in time. This point in time where I sit right in front of you and tell you about the dangers of veganism. Because now I know you can show me one billion more studies. It won't change a thing. I do not care 
about what happened when you took isolated casein proteins and you dripped it onto cancerous cells in a petri dish. And now you're going to tell me if I eat cheese, I'm going to get cancer. You're blaming an ancient food for modern day diseases. If that is not brainwashing, then you tell me what is. It is absolutely ridiculous. We've been eating meat from the start. Before we became humans, we've been eating meat. Meat is the basis of our diet, or at least it should be. But somehow, now, you're gonna blame that original ancient food source for our modern day diseases. If you really need a study to comprehend that concept, you are an idiot. Simple as that. You are a brainwashed sheep that follows the authorities. The vegans are the first that will play the card. Oh, it's an appeal to authority fallacy. All you do is appealing to authority. Don't you see that? You're appealing to your cherry-picked studies. For every single vegan study there is, you can list a million counter studies. But of course, the vegans won't believe it. The vegans won't listen. They will go back onto the internet, onto their keyboards, right? And start typing. And they're going to ask their vegan leaders what they think about it. They're going to pray to Dr. Greger to debunk the ketogenic camp. They're going to ask their vegan role models to debunk the carnivore YouTubers. They will go out of their way just to brainwash themselves again and find back into their religion, find back into their cult where they can feel comfortable and can tell themselves, yes, this is the truth. It's a plant-based diet. We're creating a bright green future, a bright green future. It is all brainwashing. It is all cultist mentality. And this is why I am anti-vegan. Because veganism is nothing but a religion. Veganism is nothing but a cult. If you truly believe in science, you should be your own scientist. N equals 1. Conduct your own scientific experiment, right? Do it. Dare to do it. Like a true scientist. Like an Albert Hoffman back in the day, who experimented with LSD on himself right before anybody else. Why not? If you truly believe in science, you would test it out on your own body. Why wouldn't you? Think about it logically. If you look into certain studies that really showed health improvement in vegans, did they show health improvements in every single one? The answer is no. So you look into those studies and you will see that there was a reduction in heart disease, for example. But there were still three people out of 10 that were getting heart disease. So what does that mean? How can the narrative that the vegan diet eliminates heart disease can hold true then? Can you follow me? I know this takes a little bit of brain capacity. It's kind of hard if you are depleted in DHA and EPA. However, try to listen. Try to understand what I'm saying. What does that mean? It means that a vegan diet was not healthy for every single individual. So what if that individual is you? Right now we have a new study coming out showing us that vegans get strokes. So why do you keep on pushing your narrative? How can you still believe that a vegan diet will make everybody healthier? If it clearly doesn't, even if you take the best science, and I challenge every single one of the vegans out there, show me the best science, and then you show me a 100% success rate. There is no such thing. And this is why we here in the carnivore community are not dogmatic about shit. Man, if you tell me I do not feel good on zero carbs, then so be it. Then you can eat sweet potatoes. You can eat rice. You can eat plants, actually. And I wouldn't mind. But if somebody tells you that they do not feel well on a plant-based diet, the vegans get outraged. They get apeshit crazy because there is no possibility for you to need meat. But still, we see vegans dropping dead from heart attacks, from strokes. There are studies that show us there is real brain shrinkage in vegans. Depression is higher in vegans and vegetarians. But who cares? The science, though. Which science? The science that a Dr. Greger, that a Caldwell Esselstyn, that any other of your vegan prophets cherry-picked 
for you. That is the science you talk about. Science that cannot be replicated. That is what you are talking about. You're not talking about real science. There are just as many, if not more, scientific papers on meat consumption. But you like to choose those that fit your narrative. That is all. This is why I'm anti-vegan. I'm anti-vegan because I cannot see the feminization of men, the feminization of boys. I do not want to see dying babies. I do not want to see malnourished kids. I do not want to see a weak society of soy boys. I do not want to see big egg and sugar pushing for their processed shit products and forcing it up on us. I am anti-vegan because you vegans are anti-health. You are abolitionists that cannot accept that people want to be healthy. You are against human health and this is why I am against you. All right guys and this is it for today's video. Just a quick rant. Let me know in the comments if you like this format. Today I used OBS Center with a slightly lower camera quality here but here we have my Sony Alpha which delivers a pretty cool angle and better quality. I hope you enjoyed this little mix up. If so, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support the channel, the links are in the description box. Subscribe star links, Amazon links, butcher box and CBD links all in the description box for you. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.